Be with Serena Bellissimo. All you need for the weekend. The biggest stars. The biggest gossip. The biggest events. The biggest tunes. It's the weekend, baby. Your weekend fix. Spin 1038. Stolen Dance is one of the catchiest songs of the summer. Joining me on the line now is one half of the band behind this popular song, Milky Chances, Clements. Clements, welcome to the show and congratulations on Stolen Dance. Thank you very much. When you uploaded this to YouTube, did you ever think it was going to be this successful? I mean, I just clicked onto it this morning. Over 62 yeah. million views. That's nuts. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. Uh, no, me, I mean... I loaded it up two years ago, and I never had any expectations at that moment. Um, I did it just for fun, just to see how people react, except to my friends. So, like, people I don't know, uh, maybe from a different country. And, yeah, it's crazy. It's it's so surprising and overwhelming, and it's huge, and it's exciting. At the time when you uploaded this, uh, was this the time that you put the LP together as well? Because I can't believe that, you know, you just threw this up on YouTube and at the same time you guys were putting together an LP in your houses? Yeah, my uh, parents' house. Actually, yeah, we recorded the whole LP in practice room where we used to practice with our band before. Yeah. Uh, we mixed it together, just put it on me, we recorded it. And then we mixed it in my children's room, <laughs> where I used to live. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was a very good time. Stolen Dance, is it true that it wasn't like a five-minute song? You wrote it over a couple of years. Yeah. How did that yeah, come about? Kind of special. Yeah, it's a special thing about that song, because all the other songs I wrote, I mean, well, sometimes it's always like, it's very messy, like the process of writing a song, because... I always get some choruses or some some small parts of a melody and then a week later or sometimes two years later, the other part is, yeah, come along with it and it's always putting the pieces of the puzzle together and, uh, yeah, for that song it took me about two years because, yes, now it's four years ago I had the chorus and two years later I wrote the verse. And then on top of that, you had Milky Chance, which is a really interesting band name, but you had the band name before you had the band. Please explain. Yeah, I mean, Mikey Chance, the name, you know, when I started songwriting when I was 13, I always created some artist names on my own just for fun. Yeah. Because I was like a little boy, dreaming of a music career and something, so I created this for, for my fantasies. And, um, yeah, when I wanted to load up, song on YouTube, I just needed a name. And I just took that one because I'm not really good with names or in creating some names, so that one sounded the best for me and yeah. And um, how did you and Philip come together? Um well we met in eleventh grade in high school. So it's now five years ago. Um we both uh went to music class so we had the same teacher and the same main subject was music. And, uh, yeah, we spent, we started spending a lot of time together. From the first day we went to school, we uh, went to Philip's home because it was near to the, to the school. And, yeah, we just started hanging around and started jamming and making music together. Rolling Stones has chosen you as part of their 10 new artists, You Need to Know. What are three random things we need to know about Milky Chance? Three random things. Uh, well, we are, we are not very fast. You could say we're, I mean, I wouldn't say that we're lazy, but we're chills. Yeah, we like, we like, we're, we like when people are more laid back. And, yeah. You know, nowadays everything has to be, yeah, happen so fast. And if you live in a big city, you have so many people running around, going from A to B. So we like it when it's more calm. And we like nature and we love our hometown and our friends and everything. <laughs> Well, you're going to be away from your hometown for a little bit because you're about to go over to the US and you're playing Australia. What about Ireland? Do you plan to come visit us here in Ireland anytime soon? Yeah, maybe next year. Brilliant. I mean, it's not sure yet, but yeah, maybe for one gig with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, more than one gig, please, because we love you over here. Um, Clemens, thank you so much for joining us. Cool. Goodbye. Thank you for having me. Plan B. With Serena Bellissimo. Spin 1038.